nobody wants to be underwater in their house. So today we're going to talk about something that most people overlook and it could end up costing you thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars every year if you don't check into this. So what I'm talking about is flood insurance. Now, flood insurance is not required if you're on very high ground, but if you're on low ground, then your lender's going to require you to have flood insurance. And when you purchase your house, of course, your agent's going to look and see if it's in a flood zone or not. But that's not enough. Here's why. Periodically, FEMA redraws the flood maps. So if you or your agent isn't checking your proximity to a flood zone, you could find yourself the next time those maps get redrawn having to get flood insurance. And I'm here to tell you, flood insurance is not cheap. We just had a client recently. They've been living in their house for many, many, many years. And all of a sudden the maps got redrawn and now she has to have flood insurance. Take a look at this map here. This house that you can see on the map here, it's in a no flood zone, but look all around it. I am almost positive that unless that house is up on this little mini mountain or hill, the next time that map gets redrawn, all those little holes are gonna get filled in and be flood areas. So those people, they think they're buying in a no flood zone, but it's very, very likely to change. and. That would be very unfortunate. And that's why Pat and I always check not only to make sure it's not in a flood zone, but see how close it is to existing flood zones and and check the, you know, of course, nobody can predict the future, but, you know, you can kind of guess if it's right on the edge of a flood zone, it's going to end up in one because the maps get keep getting redrawn and it seems like the flood zones just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger for some reason. So that's something to check on. Another thing that we check on that's related is sinkholes. So, you know, you, you can check and make sure there's no sinkhole activity or any past insurance claims about sinkholes on that house. But we always check on all the houses around it too, because yeah, just because that house didn't have a sinkhole, but if the next door neighbor did, well, guess what? If the next door neighbor had a sinkhole, that thing can come over into the next property and, and cause a problem later on. So it's these are a couple things that are often overlooked. I want you to know about them. So next time you buy, make sure that you or your agent is checking into these things very thoroughly because it could end up biting you in the butt later. So if you have any questions, just let us know. I'm Chuck Vosberg from Next Home Gulf to Bay, along with my wife, Pat. We're your favorite realtors. So ask us anything. We'll tell you anything you want to know. And I, I hope you enjoyed watching this. I hope you got something out of it. And have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.